The objective is to multiply a decimal fraction by a single digit whole number. The way that we'll figure this out is that we will use a place value chart with ones and with tenths. 3 times 0 0.2 will make 3 copies of 2 tenths. There's 2 tenths once, twice, and 3 times. So there are 6 of them there. That's 0 0.6. With our numbers, I write out 2 tenths, multiply it up by 3, 3 times 2 is 6, and then we place our decimal point. Here I have 4 times 3 tenths. Much the same way, we'll have our place value chart, and let's make 4 copies of 3 tenths. So three tenths, three tenths again, three tenths again, and another three tenths. What makes this different is that I'm not going to write that many in my tenths place. I have to regroup. I'll regroup ten of them, and ten tenths equals a whole. So I have 1.2 as my answer. Again, taking 3 tenths, multiplying it by 4. 4 times 3 is 12, and it's 12 tenths. 12 tenths does equal 1.2, or 1 and 2 tenths. Here we have a problem where it is that we have tenths and hundredths. Can make a place value chart so we have two two copies of 34 hundredths So there's one copy of 34 hundredths, and here is another copy. And then we can read right from our place value chart because we do not have to do any regroups. We have 8 hundredths, and we have 6 tenths. So to write out the number, 68 hundredths. Working with our numbers, two of them. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, and then I place my decimal point. Let me use an area model to, to solve this problem here. Break apart our decimal into its parts, 4 tenths. plus two hundredths, plus three thousandths. Two times the four tenths is eight tenths. which is 0 0.8. 2 times the 2 hundredths. 2 times 2 is 4, and that's 4 hundredths. Zero point zero 0.04. And 2 times the 3 thousandths is 6 thousandths. Zero point zero zero six, and we can add those together to get zero point eight four six. So when we multiply those together, we get 
846 thousandths. And this here was an area model. A place value chart would look much the same. In that, you would still get the same answer. Let's use an area model to solve this problem. So the 6 gets distributed to the 1 1, to the 3 tenths, and the 1 hundredth. Well, 6 times 1 is 6 ones. plus the 3 tenths. Let's see, 6 times 3 tenths is 18 tenths. Which I can write out as 1.8. 6 times 1 hundredth is 6 hundredths. Zero point zero six. Adding those together, I get 7.86. Solving this numerically, 1.31 times 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 8, regroup a 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So I do get the same answer either way that I show my work. This is breaking it apart into an area model. Use an area model to solve this problem. Pause the video while you do your work. One tenth plus two hundredths. Three ones times five is fifteen ones. One tenth times five is five tenths. And five times two hundredths is ten hundredths, which I will need to regroup. Ten hundredths is equal to one tenth. Add those together, I get 15.6. Solving it numerically, 5 times 2 is 10, 0, regroup the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15, and I place my decimal point. And these two are equivalent, they have the same value. Read the whole sentence with me. 5 times 3 and 12 hundredths equals 15 and 6 tenths. Or if you wanted to say 15 and 60 hundredths, you could say that as well.